Hey everybody, it's Glider Cat, and it's time to play. We're back in Farming Simulator 22, and man, is it a pretty September day here on the farm. Between episodes, I loaded up our trailer with the last of the logs that we've been cutting and clearing. So let's get to it. Let's drive this over to the sawmill for one last trip. This one's not going to be too much money, I don't think. You can take a look there in the trailer and place your bets. I'm going to say, I don't know what that's going to be. Maybe 900, somewhere around $900, 903. Pick something that's a little more <laughs> realistic sounding. I'm guessing $903 for this load. We'll see when we get there. And then we'll do a little hunt for collectibles on the way back. And we may check out this place right here on the right. The grocery store. And just see if we can't find ourselves some collectibles. Last time we checked out that area straight ahead. Off to the left now. And didn't find anything. But last episode we did find one. We found a little tractor kind of underneath the bridge. So that was a cool $1,000 that we can make use of. We've got $6,600 right now in the bank. We owe a lot of money. <laughs> like four hundred and ten grand. But uh, we've got ninety grand more we can borrow. It takes money to make money, so that's what uh, loans are all about. There's a neighborhood up there. Something up there we could check out. Uh, that looks kind of interesting. Maybe we'll do that up there on the hill. Instead, that looks kind of interesting. Yeah, that's the path we checked out last time. Off to the left there. We checked out this whole area, the, the uh, animal dealer, several episodes ago. And we've already checked out the sawmill area, too, for collectibles. Found a few. I think, I don't know, we've got six or seven under our belt now. Alright, let's head in here. I say $903, something like that. Last time I tried to cheat it off to the left side, I'm just going to go right down the middle. I know it's bumpy here. Alright, we are there. 903. Place your bets. Oops, not close enough. 990. Not terribly off. I'm going to check through here. Did we look through all of this? Oh, I thought that was one for sure. Nah, that's not a collectible. Well, let's just double check. I'm pretty sure that's not a collectible. It looks too realistic. Doesn't look like a toy. Same thing there. I guess we check through here. Must have, right? Yeah, sure. Yeah, I don't want to do... Check the same area several times. All right, that's it for our log. 7,600 bucks. Four dollars. Let's head back and maybe check out that little neighborhood looking area. I'm gonna go this way. I'm going the wrong way. Whoops. No big deal. This also gets us out to the road. And it's pretty. These trees are really pretty. Love the trees when they change colors like that. I see fall trees very differently than, <laughs> than most people though, because I've got the Color blindness thing going on, but it still looks beautiful to me. All right, where were we going to go? Is it past the bridge or was it? I think it was up this street. Oh, I forgot. Oh, I took out a sign. I really didn't want to do that. Oh, it's just up here on the left, I think, past all this stuff. Is where I was thinking of checking out. We got these houses way up on the hill. 
We may just park off the side of the road down here and run up. Let's do it. Let's pull off here. Do a little bit of a scenic run. Get our exercise. Rather than doing U-turns and things. Let's head up here and see what we've got. Elm Creek Heights. Gated Community. Let's poke around up here for the heck of it. I know we're trespassing, probably creeping people out, but I'm looking for your children's toys. <laughs> not, uh, not too cool in real life, but, uh, in the game's kind of fun. Nice looking house. Where are the collectibles? Bunch of stuff back here. Looks like they're putting in a screened in porch or something. Kind of an odd space with these industrial shelving units inside this nice uh blast in porch, I should say. Alright, I gotta pay attention to what I'm doing here. I'm gonna go right by one. I know it. You guys will see it, and I will miss it. I don't see anything here, though. Move those. Nothing there. Let's check out a few more of these houses. I'm thinking porches and things. Oop, got a little bit of rot there. I see nothing jumping out at me. I don't think we can open mailboxes. Holler if you see something. I don't. Anything there. Just do a couple more. Whoa. Just did that one, right? Tree trimmer had me fooled there for a second. I thought maybe. I saw how big that was. Is there a basketball net here? Okay. Oh. Gotta try one last time. Go for the rebound shot. Right, I held the button too long. I gotta go one more time. One more time. Alright. Fail City. What is that? Oh, these are power wires that are kind of floating a little bit. Nothing. Hit the neighbor's house here while we're... Here, nothing, nothing, nothing. Looking for collectibles. They're worth a thousand each. That ball is still rolling. Nothing, nothing, nothing. All right, let's try this one. 
I mean, I could probably dunk it, right? <laughs> is, is that a dunk? <laughs> Alright, that's kind of cheating, I suppose. Oh, it didn't throw. Wrong button. Man, horrible. Go straight at it and see what we get. All right, that's a fair shot. All right, I see nothing. I will let down. One more house, then we make our way back. I think it's, this is the last one, right? I think we did everything else. What this is down here, what is this? Very easily distracted. Wow, that is an interesting shaped field. Trees are really pretty. Lawnmower sitting there. All right, well, we tried. We didn't see any this time. The other thing I was thinking of doing, it's probably too late for that now, yeah, was uh, seeing what the edge of the map looked like. Guy's going to run me over if I'm not careful. Because we're over on the far, what, east side? No, west side. Why do I get that backwards? I get that backwards a couple episodes ago. We are, if we look at the map, we're right on the edge, right? The sawmill? some point we'll check that out and see well let's do it now you know i'm kind of meandering this episode apologize for that but we're kind of over here it's going to be a while before we get back in this area kind of curious what the edge of the map looks like might be interesting to see and it's not far from where we're at Oh, I just noticed there's two logs in our trailer. I didn't even see that. Let's get rid of these. I guess it makes sense that we're coming back here. Kind of justifies this diversion a little bit. Uh, hopefully those will pop out of there and not glitch on us. Ooh, not looking good. Let's see here. Okay, $72 for that. Hey, we are now clear. Not sure where those came from or why they weren't sold the first time. Maybe they were just out of the hitbox or something. Let's continue on. We're going to just check out the end of this road and see what it looks like. Then we're going to head back. Checking our helper, planting the barley. And then probably head to the shop. We probably need the uh, JCB to go pick up that um, stump grinder. We'll lease that and see if we can't clear the brush on either side of the creek. Oh, I guess that's it, right? Two X's. Can I? Yeah, that's it. That's where the world ends. You just hit kind of an invisible wall. Well, we got to see it. Just kind of curious. Take a quick look. Ooh, I see some deer up there in the trees. Curious what it looks like, how far up it goes back. Oh, it sure is pretty. Very, very pretty. All right. Here's the deer I saw just a minute ago, straight in my crosshair there. These are the trees I want. These are the trees I want. Let's take a look at the map. Those are the trees we're going to plant. We'll see. I don't, maybe they won't look so great near the farm, but we're going to do it. Yeah, this is meant to be forestry. How much does it cost? Oh man, that's a huge plot. 
Oh, man. Can't afford that. I'm just trying to get this overlay to show up. It's uh, 1.169 million for that. And you get a bunch of forestry and you get a, yeah, a bunch over here too. Although that doesn't look like it's the same kind of trees. That would be over this way. Uh, maybe. Can't tell. So at some point in our future, we can borrow 90 grand. I can't borrow one point, whatever it is, 1.2 million to buy that land now. So we'll have to settle for our little, our little creek based forestry plot. All right, I'm going to head back to the farm and we will be right back when I get there. All right, we're back at the farm. Let's park this trailer somewhere. This one is next to impossible to back up. Unless you have really good skills at it, which I do not. So let's see where I can park this thing. About right here. Now let's take a look at our helper. I think we need the JCB to pick up that stump grinder. Let's uh, take a look. See, oh man, he's still got a ways to go. We could trade off. We could trade off. I think this one will run the cedar. Let's go meet him out there. Him or her, our helper. And maybe swap tractors. He's, he's actually stopped, huh? Yeah, maybe, I don't know, between game saves or something, he just kind of stopped working. I had to start him up again. That could be the case. It's all right. Unhook you. You're going to need a wash, too. This thing looks huge compared to our little guy. But this is still a tractor. It gets the job done. Pretty sure it can run this cedar. Oh, I'm wrong. I'm way wrong. Oh, man. I thought it could run it. And not run it. Let's see. Not looking good. Yeah, I cannot. Oh, man. Not for sure this guy could do it. Maybe with a weight. <laughs> Maybe with a weight. I, I almost never use the weights, and I probably should. Um, yeah, I don't think this guy is going to be able to pull it off, literally. Let's get the JCB back on it. We do want that planted as soon as we can get it done. Let's get this guy going. A little bit of a letdown. This guy needs some maintenance too at some point. When we go pick up that implement, we can maybe get the uh, JCB repaired too. If we've got the if we've got the cash, we may need to take out a loan just to get this thing repaired. All right, let's get the helper going. It's about a third of the field left to go. I'd say maybe a little bit less. Let's take a look at all our fields now. We've got a little bit of time to kill. We can check on our animals too. Um, let's look at the soil condition. Growth, nothing's changed. I don't think. We've got... One, two, three, four, five fields that are just recently planted and in the first stage. Okay, weeding. Man, or the plowing. Okay, we don't need to worry about plowing right now. Actually, 45 needs plowing, but that'll be later. That's this guy way up here. Lime. Oh, man, that is a really difficult display. All right, that looks fine. And then these five fields, we can't put on more fertilizer, I don't think, until some time goes by. 
Weeding. Everybody's fine on weeding. Okay, we're good. Let's hop in our little guy here. He's not in the way. I thought he might be. Let's go check on the sheep pasture. This was all the grass that we were on right now that we uh, harvested for hay. We've got tons of hay. And the placement of the sheep pasture was not ideal. I didn't realize we wouldn't be able to drive under the awning. <laughs> That's the big problem. I cannot get a trailer underneath this thing, hardly. Except for that little one that we've been using to haul the wood. All right, let's look at our sheep. They look like they're doing all right. Got a tiny bit of wool here. Sell at some point. I don't think we need to worry about it now. Take a look at what it says about our animals here. Chickens, we've got, what is that, 28? Makes sense. Reproduction is up to 50% on some of them at least. And then our sheep... The reproduction, do we have any mature sheep that are closer to reproducing? Doesn't look like it, right? A huge nine month old. I'm not sure when they start reproducing. Anyway, they've got plenty of grass. Tiny bit of wool produced. There's no, I don't think we need to clean these to pastures either. And the chickens have plenty of grain. So that's all good. Let's take a look at the few things. Look at the calendar. So October's coming up. We don't have anything to do, right? We don't have anything to do in, or, oh, we have some harvesting, right? Sunflowers are going to come up for harvest next month. So, we have, I think we bought one field of sunflowers and corn. So we may have some harvesting to do. I forgot all about these. Sunflowers and corn. I think we have fields of both of those. Let's look at the map. Isn't that up here? Sunflowers and corn. So we've got, oh wait, no, the sunflowers we didn't buy, I don't think. No, we did 48. So 48, we're going to harvest next month and then corn and 45. So we have those. Hopefully will come up next month. That'll give us something to do and raise some cash. We look at the prices for our goods. We've got five products right now. Wheat. We looked at this before. It looks like January for all of these. December for our canola. So nothing. So November, it looks like it's going to be quiet. October, we've got some harvesting to do. November could be quiet. We'll, we'll see. All right. Right now we're just waiting. We got to wait for our, Oh, did our helper stop? Like we got a, we got a bug here with the helper system. This field needs to be planted. There's no reason to wait. Something with the angle here. Doesn't like. I'm going to turn the helper on again. <clears throat> Just keep an eye on this. See what happens. We may have to finish this field ourselves. It's not the end of the world. We could save a little bit of money too. But I do try to use helpers where I can. And then do the manual, you know, do the stuff that helpers can't do while the helpers are working, like cut those trees down. Keep an eye on this and see what happens when he gets to the other side of the field. These trees up here on the left, 
Those are a candidate. So if we get bored, those trees may be coming out next and we may make another trip out to the uh, sawmill. But it looks like what? Five, six trees? Okay, five, I think, on our property. Those wouldn't be bad to clear out and make it a little easier to harvest this grass. Or we could even extend this field out and get rid of this uh, corner triangle here. Get a little bit of extra crop for us. That's probably worth doing. It seems like we... We... Yeah, this thing is not going to do it. All right. Let's get on it ourselves. And uh, finish, we'll finish this field ourselves as best we can. Save a little money, but we're going to have to go buy more seed. It's, uh, it's not going to automatically refill the, uh, the seed hopper when I'm doing the driving. But that's fine. We've got plenty of time. <clears throat> and we can do a better job on the end of, these field, at the, end of the field here. And the helpers we're doing. All right. Maybe we got about seven or eight strips to do here. Just about finishing up on this field. That's our barley planted. We'll likely, I'm guessing we're going to have to do some weeding uh, come October too. So we'll probably have some weeding to do and some harvesting of those corn and the sunflowers. And I think we can use the same header for the corn and the sunflowers. Let's turn everything off here. I it was lifted up, I guess not. All right, back to the yard with the cedar. We'll give the JCB a quick power wash. It's looking pretty nasty. Then we'll head over to the dealer and see about leasing that um, stump grinder. And then see if we can clear out the brush and the stumps from all those trees we cut just behind the... Uh, our farmhouse by the creek. It's a crazy yard here. Eventually we'll get some more cash and I can try and flatten that out a little better. All right, let's park this guy somewhere back here. That's good. Power wash time, and then we will head over to the vehicle dealer. K 
Okay, here is the before. I wish I could kind of scroll very slowly. So you could see the before. This is the before the wash. All right, let's wash. Clean this guy off. Really, really like the tractors we've got so far on our farm. Both of these are like a lot. We'll hopefully be getting other ones <laughs> if we can raise some money here. Um, December and January, we can start selling. All right, not bad. Wait the hand till I guess there's no way to get... Oh, I guess just toggling my chainsaw turns off the power washer. That works. Okay, here's the after. Look at this. Amazing. Oops, sorry for the fast camera scroll. Looks good to me. Let's uh let's go to the car dealer. Well, we gotta do some maintenance too on our JCB while we're at it. We could fill up on gas too. We've got a lot, but let's just do it. It's right here. Run in, gas up. Not bad, $88. Okay, off to the dealer, and then we will look. I'm going to try bringing up the dealer menu from the actual uh, dealer itself. Rather than just hitting this the uh, key key. JCB does move quite a bit faster than our other trailer or our other tractor. All right, we're there. We've got, I don't know if that's lime, lime and some seeds laying around. Uh, okay. Let's hop in here. Can I just do this? All right, we want, we saw this last episode, I think, where was it? Is forestry equipment. And it's this guy right here. I, there's two, I guess, to choose from. This guy is a lot more expensive. Forestry mulchers can be used to remove tree stumps and bushes. Okay. That's so between these two. I'm probably going to go for the cheaper one. It takes 150 horsepower to run it. Two meter width, three miles per hour. One's a little bit bigger, requires more horsepower. I don't know that it's worth it. Hopefully this does just as good a job. And uh, like I said, I've been getting by without using weights. I, um, I rarely use them. So in the comments, let me know what you think about that. Are weights instrumental? Do you use them uh, when you play? What is this guy? Grinds down tree stumps. So that's only a tree stump grinder. We need to get rid of the brush. Yeah, this guy. Let's do it. Details. Lease. We're not going to do anything else. $149. Sure. All right. I am anxious. Hopefully this works the way I'm hoping it will. And we can get some small scale forestry work done or going on our farm without having to buy that $1.1 million parcel of land that has all the uh, trees on it. We'll see how this guy does. I have to use the JCB with this. The other tractor is not going to be powerful enough. Now, this guy is a lot bigger, which may or may not be a benefit in the... Uh, the sloped terrain that we're going to be clearing brush from. But I've never used one of these before. I don't know if this existed in Farming Simulator 19 or not. I've used a stump grinder, but nah, nothing this big. Keep your fingers crossed. Keep your fingers crossed. And then hopefully we won't hit any game glitches either. We want to clear out... Oh, man, man, it's hard for me to even fit back here. Let's try it. 
All right, I'm going to lower. I'm going to power it on. I'm going to keep my fingers crossed. Okay. It changes the terrain. I don't know if this is creating a field. I kind of like what I'm seeing. I don't know how you guys feel about it, but I kind of like what I'm seeing here. thing does the job. Nice. I'll try and get this relatively straight. Not going to be perfect. Yeah, that is pretty cool. Very, very cool. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. I guess I won't plow through this uh, little crossway here. We can do some of this. We're not going to plant the trees too close to the edge. Because we want room for our tractors to get through. And they do come up and down this way, I think. We'll probably stick to that kind of pattern. But this side's a little more fair game. Because we don't need as much clearance. Let's see if I can just shoot. Oh, it's not doing it. Mine not lowered? Oh, it's not changing the texture. Well, now it is. Hmm. It's doing the job. It's a little tricky on these slopes because once the tractor's nose goes down, then the back end kind of lifts and it's missing some, I think. But overall, I am super duper happy camper here. That is going to be cool. Oh, I like it. All right. I think what we'll do, we'll end this episode here. I'm not going to do this between episodes. We'll do this together. Let's take a look at the controls before we leave. There's that other thing on the back there. It looks like it swings down. Oh, uh, let's see. Turn off the forestry mulcher. Toggle steering. Lift forestry mulcher. I guess that's it. I'm not sure what those little spikes here are. Or I don't see a control. To do anything with those. All right, that's up and down. We're good there. Just looking at the help menu here on the left side of the screen. Yeah, I don't see any special control there. Do you? No. Oh, wait a second. If I hold the mouse down, it's moving this little guard. I'm not sure what the purpose of that is. You guys can see that kind of moving, hopefully. I don't know what that is. Maybe that allows for bigger things. Let's see if I keep moving it forward. Oh, side to side, and I get this thing. I've, I don't know what those do. Anyway, we'll play a little bit more with it. Oh, that's kind of neat, though. Interesting. Look at that. Does this thing work like a plow? Oh, man. This is kind of cool. It actually looks like it's kind of turning up the soil. I missed that one, though. All right, let's wrap it here. We'll get some more of this fun next episode. Very cool. I'm impressed with this machine quite a bit. Accidentally hit the escape key. Let's, uh, I want to pop out of here. Just take a quick look. Oh, man. Yeah, if we can do that all through here and plant trees, that won't look too bad. I mean, it's not going to look as nice as having the shrubs and stuff. They, they are kind of cool. And we could plant trees among them, but boy, it's just a... Uh, they're hard to see around when you're doing the tree harvesting. So I think they need to go. Man, that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. All right, for now, this is Glattercat signing off saying thanks so much for watching. 
Special thanks as always to patrons and channel members. Really appreciate your help. And also special thanks to those of you that have been giving the videos a thumbs up. I appreciate that. That helps my channel grow. Definitely appreciate that. And we'll see everybody in the next episode where we will clear out the rest of this brush. Awesome. Really like it. All right. See you in the next one.